Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII. I am Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! Now, it turns out that I didn't mess up anything with regard to the Card Club King. It's just that she doesn't want to play cards yet, so we're just going to have to continue on with the story. Ah, go figure. Of course, everyone is a bit nervous about going to about going to see Adia, or Matron, or whatever you want to call her. But, you know, she has information and we need it. And she also has Timber Maniacs! Hooray! Oh, hello, Sid. So, um, how's your wife? Oh, you're welcome. Should I be angry with you? Yeah, yeah, I've noticed. Oh well. well. We seem to have found that happy middle ground. I mean, she survived, right? I'm glad you care about us, Sid. Yeah, yeah, idea survived. Right. Sid walks away, and, well, we should follow him, but... Over this way, if you need it, there's a Kuraga draw point. Aha! We don't need it. So there. Up, up, stairs! Aha! Hello, ma'am. Well, we're pretty sure you have a good explanation for what's going on. You seemed a very different person after the fact. Oh, thank you. She made what? Sid? Insight? Oh, she was possessed. Well then, the only people we can talk to is Adia and Sid, and... Well, Sid has told us all he's going to tell us. However, we can also play cards with Adia. And I like to think that we play cards with her as she tells us her story. The major reason we want to play cards with her is because she has a rare card. Hopefully we can get it right away? That random rule says we might not, and open is not a normal rule around here. Oh boy. And we're going to... Maybe? Oh, we're not getting it if she puts it there. Alright, well we definitely do not want to put place Zell above it, yeah? Because the same plus rule will ruin our day quickly. If I had a down pointing nine, then maybe. Oh, she has that option too. <laughs> no, she doesn't. But still. How can we do this? I got a two difference. No, I have one difference. Brain, make happen. Sames are going to cause us trouble. She has a lot of good cards. This is going to be rough. This one won't immediately destroy my day. Right. Now what can we do with it? Or difference isn't going to happen either direction. 
Sophie. Does she have a three difference? No, she doesn't. This one's safe. I think. Alright, what are you playing at there? Oh, I see it. I have to play that one so I don't lose a card. <laughs> and we're going to... Win! Huzzah! Alrighty. Well, that gets that out of the way, so now we can just listen to her story. Hooray! Talk to me. But who possessed you? Oh. But who's that? The future generate. Okay. What's she want with a loan? Kind of sounds like Ultimate she already has this power, only she can actually do something with it, though. Yeah, yeah, she was at the orphanage after all. Ah, uh, that explains your behavior. Alrighty. How exactly did that help, though? I mean, I, I guess it worked, but how did it help? Hmm. All right then. We can talk. We can walk around to talk to people, but as I said, it is the only one who has something to say. Well, that's good. Oh, right. Good to know. Oh, you'll always have our support. Um, vaguely? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Irving. Wait, you didn't? These powers transfer willy-nilly like that? Ah, and since the Sorceress War was going on when our when our heroes were children, you had your you had your sorceress powers whilst Adele was still alive. Therefore meaning. That Adele must still be alive. Oh boy. Ultimicia is going to use a more cooperative sorceress. Oh. That doesn't sound like a good thing. The type will not hesitate to use her powers for her selfish desires. Ultimicia, uh, get a hold of her. Yikes. Hey, you'll notice that, uh, is repeating herself. That's all she'll say. Sid is only going to say that we should listen to, to Idea, who doesn't seem to have much more to say, and our companions won't talk to us, so we're done, right? Uh, Irving, we did. But no, the reality of things is that, uh, Squall's going through some more internal turmoil. He's a little bit worried about Renoa. Just a bit. Yes, yes, that's her.
Well, she was with us when we fought you, and she collapsed. Her body is cold. She doesn't move. Sid, that's not gonna help the situation. If she was dead, Squall would have told you. Well, that's a shame. Oh, yeah? So says the guy who ran away when faced with a similar thing. I don't think you're in any position to, to in order to tell me these things. I know everyone fought. Doesn't change that we're worried about her. You blow it out your rear, Sid. But is something a leader would say all the time because they have to consider all all the possibilities. We shall give him the silent treatment. And then hurt ourselves. I'll let you decide which train of thought to follow. Yo, Squall! Ah, don't give me that, Selfie. After all, Squall's clearly been paying attention. Paying attention to what is a different question. Aha! Nope! No buts! We need to go. Let people know. Are you now? Yes, Squall, please try not to lash out at your friends. Not that those friends have much ground to stand on since they badgered you to rescue Renoa instead of taking care of business. Not you know. So, our task is to find a loan. And somehow deal with Ultimecia. Last we saw a load, she was on the White Seed ship, so we're gonna have to look for that. And gather some kind of information. Be prepared for combat at any time. Oh yes, and Nidia's back at her home. Probably not the enemy, so we'll leave her alone. What do you think, Quistus? Right. Well, it's a good thing we didn't ask them to be to forgive. Now, Quistus actually gave us our next storyline breadcrumb, which is to go say hi to Renault in the infirmary. But let's actually e check out Selfie's diary and other stuff. I kind of wish something from the Garden Square would the bulletin board at the Garden Square would actually change, but uh, well, it hasn't, and. Well, while Sophie had claimed that she wouldn't update her diary again, she did. Her thoughts of battles were over, but they shall continue. The idea of her matron was special to me, and she was a good sorceress after all, but possessed by a dangerous sorceress. Even if she's being used, it's still tough to fight her. But this future sorceress wants time compression. What is that? What happens? In when the time gets compressed. Eh, more afraid of having to fight Matron and, and deal with and worry about time compression. But still, 
What happened to Renoa? Squall's clearly suffering. Is there anything we can do? At this point, who knows? But we also picked up a Tabor Maniac, so let's take a look at, at the new article. Ah, there it is. Laguna writes proudly of this, of this place in the article. What is it? Well, it's the... Well, there's Rain and and her pub in Windhill. The pub somewhere with the owner. No name or location is written down. Seriously, man, why not? Well, because Laguna didn't want to draw tourists to Windhill for some reason? Heaven forbid that their, their economy should do well. Oh well. That whole thing about who this is and where it is is a secret. Don't tell anybody. Oh, really? Why'd he publish it in a magazine if he wasn't going to write these things down? But whatever. But that will do for now. Off screen, I'm going to play cards with some random person at Garden so as to make sure the rules are are what I can deal with for when we do fight the card the card club king. But next time, we're gonna go visit Renault in the in the infirmary. We'll see you then. Later. <laughs>